Gluteus medius muscle. The gluteus medius muscle is a favorite test item. Origin. It arises from the dorsal ilium inferior to the iliac crest from the posterior gluteal line to the anterior gluteal line. The gluteus medius muscle forms the middle layer of the gluteus muscles. Got the maximus at the top, the medius, which covers the minimus. Insertion. It inserts into the lateral and the superior aspect of the greater trochanter. Here are several illustrations. The first illustration will show the origin of different muscles from the ilium. The caudal part of the tendon is close to the piriformis muscle, which run from the sacrum to the greater trochanter. The second illustration will show the insertion of the gluteus minimus and the gluteus medius on the greater trochanter. The gluteus medius muscle is entirely covering the gluteal minimus muscle. Just remember the gluteus medius run from the ilium to the greater trochanter. And also remember that above the piriformis muscle runs the superior gluteal artery and nerve, and below the piriformis muscle runs the inferior gluteal artery and nerve. It is supplied by the superior gluteal nerve, which is L4, L5, and S1, but it is predominantly L5. The blood supply comes from the superior gluteal artery, which runs above the piriformis. Sometimes this artery is injured in a stabular fracture by the trauma or by the exposure by the surgery. That can lead to compromise of the abductor muscles. Function. The gluteus medius is the most powerful abductor of the hip joint. The abductor muscles play an important role in stabilization of the pelvis. The anterior fibers also provide some internal rotation of the hip, and the posterior fibers provide some external rotation of the hip. There are many clinical situations that involve the gluteus medius muscle. The superior gluteal nerve and the artery can be injured during Watson-Jones approach or lateral approach if the incision extends more than 5 cm above the establum. The lateral approach to the hip. Harding approach. People like this approach than the posterior approach because of the rate of hip dislocation is less. The superior gluteal nerve will limit the proximal extent of the gluteus medius split. So the superior gluteal nerve is about 5 cm proximal to the tip of the greater trochanter. If you split the muscle above that, then you carry the risk of injuring the nerve, which will compromise the muscle function. Perhaps, maybe we shouldn't extend the incision more than 3 to 5 cm above the greater trochanter. Another important point, if you injure this muscle, you will get weakness of abduction. We can see that early on after total hip replacement, and the patient will go to therapy and get the strength of the muscle back, Sometimes there is an occult rupture or injury of the muscle itself, 
unrecognized, and people think it is a greater true cancer bursitis, but really it is an occult rupture. You may need to get an MRI to check that. And it can happen if the patient has surgery or if the patient didn't have surgery in this area. Another point is if the muscle is weak, you can get Trendenberg gait. I have a video on that. You can check the Trendenberg gait, and here is the link for the video. So what is the Trendenberg gait pattern? When the patient is stand on the weakened side, the weakened medius will allow the opposite side of the pelvis to tilt downwards. So the body will try to compensate by having the trunk lean towards the weakened side. That will move the center of gravity near the fulcrum on the weak side, shortening the moment arm from the center of gravity to the hip joint and reducing the effort required by the abductors of the hip. You can also test the patient for Tlindenberg sign. And here is another important point, which is a lumbar disc herniation between L4, L5, osteolateral disc herniation will affect L5 nerve root which in turn will affect the gluteus medius and can give you Trindenberg gait. Or you can have the patient lie on the side on the examination table and ask them to abduct the leg against resistance if you worry about the abductor muscle. Or you can exchange that with another test for L5 which is testing the extensor hallucis longus and also the top of the foot for decreased sensation. Another area of interest is the gluteal compartment syndrome. There are few case reports and it can happen from prolonged surgery or from a crush. You can see here why the gluteus muscle is in the examinations all the time. I hope I helped you to understand it. Thank you very much. This video is for educational purposes only. Please consult your doctor before you make any decision about your medical care.